Hey Cancer, welcome to your weekly psychic forecast for April 15th through the 21st. This will be for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. Alright my dears, we've got a full moon coming up this week. We've got Holy Week starting, we've got Easter coming up. So in honor of this time of year, I've got my main man, love of my life, joining us today. Guest appearance. I'm going to see what is going on here and see what is coming up in the week ahead for our Cancer friends. I'm using a different deck this week also just because it's got like that Eastery vibe for me anyway. It's like it's cool art, but I'll have a link in the description to the video if you want to check that out. All right, there's your Wednesday, Thursday. All right, and there's your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, my darlings. Let's see what's coming up in the week ahead for our Cancer friends. Monday, Tuesday, you've got Page of Coins. Okay? This could be a desire to get rooted or to get grounded. This could definitely be a desire for uh, some kind of new project or moving forward in a way where you're bringing stability into your life. Namely, having to do with finances or with home. Um, we do have the full moon coming in kind of mid-ish, mid-ish week. Uh, Cancer, you all are a water sign. Therefore, you might be feeling the, the energy early on. Water signs sometimes can be a little bit more sensitive to moon energy. Now, I am not an astrology expert by any means, but my understanding is that this is a full moon in Libra opposite of the sun or across from the sun so then it's going to be bringing out light into our life seeing the situations where there's polarities or opposites so we're seeing um parts of our life that are negatively influencing or affecting other parts of our life so some of you are getting very clear about what you want to have changed and how to go about making it happen and for many of you it's going to have to do a lot with financial goals or business goals i'm not talking about being a materialistic person cancer you all generally are typically very family oriented you're very home oriented so you may just be thinking of ways of doing more for family or bringing in more stability into the home or into the family environment um and I am feeling that for a lot of you, this is about, um, I don't know why, I, I feel like for some of you, maybe I won't say a lot of you, but for some of you, intuitively, I'm feeling that some of you, something's been like pulling at your heart for a while. Like something's been pulling at your heartstrings. You've really been wanting to do more or to give back, okay? So either there's somebody in your life that you've been very concerned about. Maybe you have aging parents or maybe um, there's a family member or, or just somebody that's very important to you and you're wanting to step up and do more for them or to help them financially. Or maybe, you know, you've been really wanting to get something up and running in terms of helping or giving back to the world. You've been wanting to do more in helping others or uh, doing like more charity type stuff but I do feel that some of you have really really big dreams or big goals financially but I also feel there's a purpose behind it like like, like a like a valiant purpose or a very honorable thing that you're trying to accomplish understand and know that anytime love is your motivation for these things spirit will bless you you will receive the blessing it will come in right there's no reason for it not to so I would really say continue to stay focused on what it is you're hoping to accomplish, that big picture, that why, you know, be in that place of love and you'll manifest and you'll create the changes much, much quicker. But I, I really do feel very strongly that many of you are just in this energy where you're, you're thinking of all the things you would do to help others if you had the money. Like you might even be looking at, at the TV or at the news or like, you know, these celebrities that paid you know, crazy amounts of money to, um, you know, put their kids into college or whatever it might be, or like, you know, that, you know, the lawyers that are taking money from their clients or, um, gosh, celebrities who are in trouble for all kinds of disgusting things right now, which a lot of money and a lot of transactions and things that happened, you might be thinking, man, if I had 
a fraction of that money. I would help, you know, homeless people or I would help, you know, people transitioning out of domestic violence and trying to get their life together or I would, you know, do something for the elderly or whatever it might be. A lot of you have been in that energy where you're thinking of the good you would do if you were more financially stable, even if it was to be able to take time off and physically volunteer. Like, you know, I, I wish I could have enough money to where I could take time off work and go and work for Habitat for Humanity and help build homes or like whatever. Just some of you are really in that philanthropic, I can't pronounce it correctly, but that that giving spirit. A lot of you are really, really in that giving spirit. And so I do feel that there's something happening in the beginning part of the week where you're beginning to work on making those things happen or creating that energy into your life, okay? Your Wednesday, Thursday is... Ten of Coins. I had to see the, the writing. Your Wednesday, Thursday is Ten of Coins. So Ten of Coins is, again, obviously, like I said, there seems to be energy here with manifestation. There seems to be energy here in terms of finances and money and stability. And Ten of Coins is absolutely a stability or money card, right? So this is kind of confirming the theme that the week started off with. Uh, so this is, again, coming in as a confirmation or an affirmation for you that that which you need is coming in, and it's coming in abundantly, okay? You're going to have a chance, you're going to have an opportunity to manifest um, what you're in need of for your life, you know, for your family, for your home. Speaking of manifesting, Ten of Coins is also... A card that has to do with bringing things into the physical realm, manifesting things into the physical realm. So maybe there's things you're trying to manifest outside of money. That would still that would still apply here. You know, you're manifesting, you're creating, you're taking a dream or a hope or a wish, and it's turning into reality. Okay, so this doesn't mean that it's gonna be instantaneous, where like you're going to bed Tuesday night. And then Wednesday morning, you're waking up and finding out that you won the lottery or finding out that, you know, somebody died and left you a ton of money or, you know, landing a, a job that pays like crazy amount of money. I mean, it, it could be happening for some of you or you are receiving good news. But for other ones of you, the, the change may feel more subtle, okay? Because a lot of the times the reading is picking up on energies and things that are beginning or doors that are opening. For example, you know, um, we could have had a card that came up, you know, uh, uh, midweek that, well, let me not complicate the example, okay? You have this card here of like finances, right? It's coming up midweek about finances. And like I said, you might not wake up that day and win the lottery, right? But you may find out about a job that you're going to go and you're going to apply for. And you may not got, get hired for another few weeks later. But something changed. Something happened that day, as small as it may seem, that is going to become something bigger down the line. That's creating a bigger energy down the line. So understand and know that if you don't feel anything happening midweek or if you don't see it, still some kind of seed was planted and that this is something that's coming in you're manifesting that kind of energy you're manifesting that kind of change that kind of assistance that kind of abundance coming into your life your friday saturday and sunday cancer is three of swords now i don't want to leave it on three of swords so i am going to pull a clarifier so in that way cancer you all are getting a, an, an extra card but Three of Swords, as you know, sometimes can, can be a sad card. Typically, it has to do with the truth being revealed to you. Like there's something that spirit needs you to know before you make decisions moving forward. Okay, yep. And here you have the Hermit as the clarifier. And this is a major arcana card. So a major life purpose or major life shift. So my dears... I feel like what is happening is maybe a lot of you are setting out, those of you specifically who are setting out to help a specific person or a specific family member, like you might be getting ready to really sacrifice, to really like work your butt off and, you know, give everything you have. You know, if you've got 
uh, you know, out of ten dollars, you're gonna give nine of those ten dollars to to somebody else. Like you may be in that energy where you're really ready to work really hard and to sacrifice. So some truth may be revealed to you where you're being shown not that this is a bad person, or not even necessarily that you can't have them in your life, or that you shouldn't have them in your life. But you may be shown a truth or something that's making you realize that maybe. It's not going to be a good thing for you to do this for this person. You know, maybe you're seeing ways in which this person has been dishonest. Or maybe you're seeing ways in which this person is, is not a loyal person. You know, or whatever it may be. Or maybe you're, you're finding out that for whatever reason, um, the organization you wanted to get involved with or, or, or help maybe could be unethical or something like that. Usually when Three of Swords comes up for me, it's some truth is being revealed. It's going to sting sometimes. It, it, it may hurt. But in my experience, it's not something that lasts for very long. You might be very sad. You might be very disappointed. But you'll get over it fairly quickly. Because it's something being shown to you so that you can make the right decisions. So Cancer, if you've been in an energy for a while where you've been like, I just really wish I knew the truth about the situation. Or I really wish I knew the truth about this person it's coming it's being revealed so that you can make better decisions that are going to be better for you in the long run and that are going to keep you happier and that are going to keep you more stable the hermit card coming in as clarification for the three of swords also gives us a sense of feeling that yet once again um you're going to be focusing more so on yourself so this does make me feel like there's someone that you're like, man, you know, I was really trying to show up. I was really trying to help you. I was really trying to be there for you and like be loyal and have your back. But, you know, maybe you're showing me that you're not ready to make changes. Or maybe you're showing me that you're not ready to grow. Maybe you're showing me that you're making ex excuses. So in that way, some of you are having a change of plans in terms of, um, you know, what you're going to be doing and who you're going to be doing it for. But the overall energy here, Cancer, is I do feel what cannot be stopped and what seems to be happening is you are entering into this spiritual energy. You are entering into this leadership type energy, okay? The hermit is sometimes seen as a religious, uh, not religious, excuse me, a spiritual teacher and a mentor. So some of you are coming into leading and guiding others and bringing about positive change. And the universe is just very kindly, very clearly, very quickly showing you what and who maybe is in your way or who or what is uh, working against that goal, I guess is, is, is the best way to put it. Sometimes, my dears, when we are on a path of light, we will have lower vibrational energies or we will have lower vibrational soulmates or, 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 or karmic soulmates or karmic people come in and work is a distraction. They come in and they distract us from the work that we're trying to do. Okay, so sometimes the universe will show us that, hey, here is somebody who came in seeming like a soulmate, but, you know, they're, they're a bit of an imposter. And when I say soulmate, I don't simply mean romantic. Sometimes, yes, it's romantic, but it can come in in different ways. It can come in through false friends. It can come in through uh, friends or family members who have a victim mentality or whatever it may be. But some truth is being shown to you so that you don't get sidetracked, right? So that you don't, you know, make a wrong turn or go down uh, the wrong path, you know, and so that you can achieve your purpose, your fulfillment, your joy, you know, coming into connecting with soul family, all of those wonderful, important things, you're going to be able to manifest them because spirit is going to show you, hey, maybe don't go down this road or hey, maybe don't invest so much into this situation. So whatever it is, it is protecting you and it is leading you to something much, much, much better. Okay, uh, check out your moon sign and rising sign videos as well. Some weeks those may resonate with you more, but in general, they'll typically add a little bit more extra information depending on what you have in your planetary makeup. Um, it's a nice little bonus info type thing. Um, you may want to check out the love readings. I'll have a link for the love readings in the description of this video. And many of you voted and you requested that for the mid-month love readings, I do a cross-watcher edition instead of the regular format. So we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it, how you feel about it. 
um, once the videos are up, you can check you can check them out and see if you like it in that way. And I I will cover obviously love because it is the mid month love reading, but it's also a cross watcher uh, reading. So I will also include other scenarios or situations because maybe some of you have like family stuff or some of you have like work stuff, and so there may be a particular zodiac sign that you're really thinking about, right? And it may not necessarily be romantic. So I'll try to incorporate some of that in there as well. Uh, I thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Uh, I will see you on the dailies. I will see you on social media. I'm wishing you a wonderful week ahead, Cancer. Take care.